I'm done. An hour and 30 minutes until uh, we get back here to downtown Miami. Afterwards, we're going to go back to uh, Miami Beach. But for now, we're going to Coconut Grove Coral Gables in Nueva Havana. Hola, y gracias por uh, escogiendo a uh, City Sizing Tour. Bienvenidos y gracias por escoger a City Sizing Tour. Mi nombre es Anthony, el guía de este bus. Ahora vamos a empezar. De nuevo vamos a Miami Beach. Pero empezamos aquí en el centro, estamos en downtown Miami, el centro de Miami. Por la mano derecha tenemos una escuela, uh, es un colegio, el colegio de Miami Dade, uh, que tiene más de 165 mil estudiantes en total. Over to our right hand side, ladies and gentlemen, this is Miami Dade College. Miami Dade College is one of the largest institutions for online learning. They got more than 165,000 students in attendance, spread out over seven different campuses. Right now we're getting into Government Center. Government Center is just as exciting as the name sounds, Government Center. There's not a lot to do here, except a lot of courthouses, a lot of government official buildings. This is a courthouse in front of us, that's another courthouse, and then down the street, just another courthouse. But we need to cut through here so we can get over to uh, the highway. Estamos en el centro de Miami, pero también estamos en el centro de gobernamiento. Aquí no hay mucho para ver, uh, solo Palacio de Justicia, aquí por la derecha, enfrente y más enfrente. Uh, pero tenemos que pasar por aquí. Getting onto the highway, so it does get windy. Hold on to your hats, your glasses, your tickets, anything that you don't want to lose right now, because it does get very windy. And we'll go flying. In just a moment, you guys can actually see the train station. The Miami Metro Rail. In front of us to our left, the Miami Metro Rail is only two dollars and twenty-five cents, and it takes you twenty-two miles into the city of Miami. Beauty of the home. This is stop number two. The Skya is to our left hand side. You can't see it because of all the trees, but it's a beautiful museum. $16 to spend the whole day on. símbolo de Coconut Grove es el pavo real porque son tan común en uh, el barrio, en los barrios en frente de las casas y son libres no tienen, no tienen uh, dueños so, uh, the peacock the symbol of Coconut Grove is the peacock because uh, they're so common in the residential areas, the calmer residential areas and they're free but uh, Thank you. 
yachts, their boats. But it's also where you can find some uh, wonderful seafood restaurants like this one's where left the all teams will come in together. Is there anyone getting down to stop number three for Coco Walk? Alguien va a bajar en la parada número tres de Coco Walk? All right, so Coco Walk is coming up. Coco Walk is an outdoor shopping mall uh, where we have a large variety of different restaurants, restaurants, shops, boutiques, art galleries. There's a movie theater. There's a comedy club. Uh, it's a wonderful place. A main attraction here in Coco Walk. Pronto vamos a pasar por Coco Walk. Coco Walk is centro comercial. Una zona de cultura de Coco. Bastantes restaurantes, uh, restaurantes, tiendas, bares, galería de arte, boutiques. Es un centro comercial de aire libre. Coco Walk. Come ahead in just a second. But I want you guys to please watch your heads. This was the very first interracial school in the city of Miami after segregation was abolished. Elementary School fue la uh, primera escuela interracial después de segregación aquí en Miami. Gracias. Yeah, estamos saliendo de Coca-Cola y vamos a entrar a la zona de Ebro. La diferencia de Coca-Cola con Ebro es la zona más hermosa de Coca-Cola. Para Coca-Cola es una ciudad. So, uh, Coral Gables is actually a different city from Miami. It's still within Miami-Dade County, but Coral Gables, they have their own mayor, they have their own city hall, and everything. Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Prada. Lujoso, se llama La Vía del Parque Medi, con diseñadores de moda uh, como Nordstrom, Neiman Marcus, Gucci, Louis Vuitton. Uh, you guys can see we're getting into Coral Gables, a place of luxury. We're going to be passing by a place where they sell luxury cars. It's called The Collection. Pronto vamos a pasar por donde hacen venta de, uh, venta de auto lujoso. Also, you guys can see Audi, Jaguar, Aston Martin, Maserati, Ferrari, Porsche, and the McLaren. They're all sold here at the collection. If you guys happen to purchase any one of these cars, I will give you a free tour, a private tour in your Maserati or Ferrari, as long as you let me drive. It's the only thing you gotta pay. So again, this is the collection. Si ustedes compran uno de los carros que venden aquí, yo te doy un tour privado y gratis, pero yo tengo que manejar que son un So this is the collection, ladies and gentlemen. El Hotel Biltmore también fue el diseño del hombre que fundó a la ciudad, George Merrick. 
el hotel tiene la piscina, uh, una de las piscinas más grandes del mundo, tiene más de uh, millones de galones de agua, pero dicen que el hotel es el hotel más empujado en los Estados Unidos porque durante la Segunda Guerra Mundial fue un hospital para los soldados. Lo pueden ver, ya lo pueden verlo aquí por la izquierda y al menos. It's meant to look like a Spanish clock tower called Magdalena. The Biltmore Hotel was also designed by George Merrick with a team of architects. Uh, this hotel it has one of the largest pools in the world. The pool is more than one and a half million gallons of water. And uh, the hotel is actually said to be one of the most haunted hotels in the world because uh, during World War II, it was a giant hospital for the soldiers. So a lot of soldiers did pass away there. So again, the Biltmore Hotel, uh, it also features Gable Stage, which is a performing arts center. It has the very first golf course in Miami. It's the uh, Biltmore Golf Course coming up to our left. And it's stop number four on the map. Is there anyone getting down at stop number four, the Biltmore? stick to one side, so sorry about that. In front of us, this is the DeSoto Fountain. To our right hand side, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Venetian pool. This is stop number five. Venetian? This pool has over 800,000 gallons of natural water, fresh water, so not pool water, but fresh water. Con la mano derecha de esta piscina, la piscina Venecia tiene 800 mil galones de agua natural, agua fresca. The architect of the city, or the founder of Coral Gables. Con la mano izquierda tenemos la alcaldía de Coral Gables y enfrente. de George Merrick, el hombre que fundó a la ciudad de Coral Gables. Okay. Ya estamos entrando a la Vía Milagrosa. Dicen que lo han nombrado la Vía Milagrosa porque es un milagro si la mujer puede caminar este día y se comprar algo. Aquí hay 20 tiendas de bodas, hay 40 personas que son de los diseñadores de bodas Right now, ladies and gentlemen, we just got into Miracle Mile. Miracle Mile is, uh, you can see an outdoor shopping center or a shopping mall here in Cold Gables. Uh, Miracle Mile, they say they have a name because it's a miracle. They go on the mile without purchasing anything. Just to test that in this area, there's over 20 bridal shops. There's 40 restaurants and bars, and the rest are beautiful boutiques for the fashion designers of Cold Gables. We're doing a little detour so that we can avoid the traffic. We have to do a little bit of 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 a little bit La calle 8 es la calle más famosa que tenemos en Miami. Y nadie lo dice en inglés, nadie lo dice en su idioma. Lo llaman la calle 8 en español porque es la calle más uh, famosa entre los latinoamericanos aquí en Miami, que son la mayoría de Miami. So right now, 
ladies and gentlemen, we are on our way over to Southwest 8th Street, right here in Miami. We all call it La Calle Ocho. La Calle Ocho is actually the most famous street that we have in Miami. And the reason that we say La Calle Ocho in Spanish is because this is the most famous street amongst the Latin Americans, which are the majority of Miami. Um, because it's only 27 blocks, but within these 27 blocks, the Cuban people who arrived here, um, they tried to recreate the style of living from Havana. They did a wonderful job because here in Little Havana, barely anyone speaks English. The majority of the people only speak Spanish, or if not, they at least speak Spanglish. Now, here in Little Havana, uh, they got the name from Havana, the largest city in Cuba, and uh, the history begins there in Cuba. In 1959 is when Fidel Castro got into the island of Cuba and he brought socialism to the country with the intent to turn it into a communist country. It never actually became a communist country, but just the idea of communism was enough for the people to leave the country. And between 1959 to 1980, we had 600,000 Cuban exiles who arrived here to uh, Miami. And they completely changed the course of action for Miami. They completely changed the way of living here in Miami. Uh, they're the reasons why this is a multicultural city, a Spanish-speaking city. 65% of the population is Latin American, all thanks to the Cubans who arrived here in the Cuban exile movement. In front of us to our right, this is the mural that says, Welcome to Lula Havana. Por la mano derecha,
inside you guys are going to see the Intercontinental Hotel. This hotel is one of the most luxurious hotels in Miami. Uh, it's actually where President Barack Obama was staying when he was visiting the city, Intercontinental Hotel. Aquí por la mano derecha y atrás tenemos el Hotel Intercontinental. Ese hotel es muy lujoso y es donde estaba quedando nuestro presidente Barack Obama cuando estaba visitando la ciudad de Miami. Es un centro comercial al lado del Bahía, Bayside Marketplace, con restaurantes y tiendas. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be arriving to stop number one. Stop number one is over to our left in Holiday Inn. Oh, the Holiday Inn. All right, so once again, ladies and gentlemen, uh, stop number one is coming up. Just want to thank you guys for taking us on City Sites Tour. My name is Anthony. I was your tour guide for this bus, probably your favorite tour guide all day. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed my little tour, we will have a little tip drive downstairs. Split between me and the bus driver. The bus driver's name is Manuel. Uh, it doesn't take a lot to fill it up. Five, twenties, fifties, hundreds. You take anything, cash, credit, debit, checks, food stamps, EBT, WIC. Water. Again, this is stop number one, ladies and gentlemen. If you're going back to Miami Beach, stay on this bus.